Hello! What's happening guys? So, I got a little update on the Mass Universe Origins. I, was, I just got a box from Big Bad Toy Store. One of my friends actually helped me with the pre-order. He had some little bit of issues with payment stuff like that. Uh, mostly internet stuff, I think. But anyway, so my, I believe it was the fifth wave got partially shipped and two of the characters were actually missing from the order. So it was a little bit of a mess. Then the following sixth wave come out and uh, somehow the pre-order got in the card, but when I'm able to accept the card, anyway, I don't want to waste too much of your time. So anyway, that being said, the two figures I was waiting, and they were actually ready for a while, were Fisto and Merman. Of course, the camera is reversed, so you won't be able to read it correctly, but anyway, you know which are they. And then, the following wave, which is the sixth, we have um, um, this man, all the power, Webster, the green goddess, really cool, which is pretty much, if you will, an old school uh, Tila, vintage Tila with a different paint job, but the story is different, it will come from what we see in the, in the back of the packaging. There's also a steam core missing, hopefully it's gonna be here soon, and as um, the looks figure, sorry, yeah, Mosquito. I was very excited about this. I heard people are finding a target, so I was kind of impatient to get mine. Because they normally, if I get them on, I normally, on the shop, I normally can't only order because it's slightly cheaper. Not that much, but it's a little bit cheaper. Um, I might actually look into uh, find a Mosquito package, because I really like it, this figure so far. That being said, let's go ahead and open them, all right? I don't like to make too much of a mess. And, and show pretty much the packaging. Of course, the comb is gonna be different. And like I said, let's go from the way that was missing, the two other ways missing. Um, Pisto, classic old school packaging. In the back, amazing work. This one, I have to say, will consider a substandard, substandard grade. There's some damage, which is fine. I pay a little bit less and uh, but I have to be honest with you, I've seen something coming from there, there's still some time that actually in worse shape than this and don't even this be classified. But that being said, I'm gonna open it. Pistol again. I don't make too long of a video, but and of course the origin is always a pain and uh, you know where. The comics is the sucker punch, which you've seen for the entire wave. Really cool comic. Here we go, packaging. I need probably a scissors, as usual. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Come with instruction as usual to how to um, disassemble the figure and you know or mix the parts if you will. Of course, the worst part of this packaging is always and to probably keep the scissors with me, which I have. Thank God. See, I can entirely use my own tooth and destroy my <laughs> dental work. It can be expensive. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna talk about this figure a little bit. I had, I never had Fisto when I was a kid. I have several one, including some variants, French and Spain, I think, and then um, Hong Kong or Hong Kong with a slightly different production. I think mine, one of my Hong Kong says uh, Hong Kong on the on the fist per se, another one doesn't say it, it's slightly different color. That being said, very reminiscent of the vintage one, very. I have to say, I know you. Can, I hope you can see it. Especially the face. Um, not an amazing paint job. There's a little bit of uh, paint worn off a little bit on the armor. But again, we know the quality control on the origin is not amazing. Um, other than that, the packaging I think was the issue. I don't think it's nothing to do with paint job because, we, like I said, we know that they always had issue with that. Um, the only thing sucks it doesn't have the, the classic action. Other than that, is a copy and I would say it's very similar to the vintage one, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I like him. And I'm gonna put it right over here on the side for now. Guarding. Would be nice actually having with uh, Strider as uh, the looks pack. Would have been an amazing thing, but you know, not my uh, choice. Um, <clears throat> we have Merman, a lot of power. Very similar to the, not the same, but very similar to the version for Powercom. Amazing artwork on the back. I remember actually this monster on the side on the mini comic with Eman back in time, which 
I had with me for somewhere. Uh, so we're gonna open it. I don't care too much about the blister. I keep the cardboard bag, just the card bag, just in case for collecting purpose. But I'm not like a maniac, like some people about. Oh man, I wanna keep the packaging. I don't open it and there's too much noise, by the way. Um, I'm not that of a um, collector per se. Um, I I have to say I have a couple of them doubled. I have a few Merman, I have a few variants of them. <clears throat> I do have a classic too. It's a really cool like, and the classic one comes with a different face, if you will, with the vintage with the vintage and, and the cartoon one. Um, like I said, start off with a sword, you're gonna need a oh, you're gonna need a a shoe sword. I hope you don't too much noise opening the packaging. I do apologize in advance. I think the tape is getting stuck everywhere as usual. Open it. Actually, funny fact, I heard that somebody was actually getting Shira with the sword of uh, Merman. I'm talking about the first... Um, was that the first wave? Merman? I don't remember. Anyhow, if I can open it without cutting myself, of course. Sorry about that. If you guys like this line so far, what do you think about it? Leave a comment on, underneath the video. I hope the video is going to be not too long for you guys. I cannot apologize in advance. Oh, the sword is... Um, Alright, cool, cool. I like the paint job. This one actually looks way better. I like his armor. Like I said, Lord of Power style. If you will like Lord of Power, like the, the pre-release figure, if, if you want the prototypes. Uh, really cool face. Really good job with him. I, I really like it. It's one, of, one of the figures I was actually debating to buy two of them. But again, it's a matter of space and money. I don't have that much space anymore. Shocking. Anyway, it's gonna stay here. Maybe it's not stay there. Anyway, now let's go for the following wave, which is the sixth, I believe. Like I said, we have a uh, web store, which is one of my preferred one. I have well, the vintage one. I have a bunch of them um, with a cool feature of the of the pack with the harpoon that you can use for climbing. Uh, I heard people that don't recommend to use it. The vintage one was working very well. This one they say is very fragile, which I'm not gonna use it because I don't wanna break it. Um, like I said, the blister has damage no matter what they do, so unless you collect or grade the stuff, it's always, <clears throat> like me, I, I don't want to open it, I don't care. <clears throat> I got one figure, sorry about the noise again, from the back toy store, uh, cool artwork by the way in the back, sorry, I'll show you also the, the picture. Uh, I was saying, I only want fig one figure from them, collector grade, grade, sorry, uh, it was, um, Cataloid, but they are in really good shape. I have to give it that to them. I uh, normally collector grade my Funko, because I'm kind of picky about them. And uh, I know they're harder to find than, than these uh, Origins. Actually, the Funko are really hard to find. Master Universe Funko, lately. for some reason, well, anything Master Universe lately is hard to find. Um, I hate the rubber band I use for packaging them, by the way. In the butt. Uh, still better than those uh, little stringy things, but still a point in the butt. All right, so, like I said, he has the pack that you can use with harpoon, pulling the stuff, very solid harpoon, and you can use this thing, the stringy, for pull him up and down, and uh, the harpoon for climbing the stuff, such as Grey School. The figure very reminiscent of the vintage one. I have a couple of those, including the Mexican one that my good friend Raoul sent me. The gun is exactly the same gun of the vintage one. Really cool figure. This one doesn't have any imperfection of paint at all. I have to be honest, this one looks really good. Really good job. I like it. Anyway, this was Webster. Nice color too. The plastic, if you will, is a little bit of, uh, yeah, kind of goopy. But again, you know, we're talking about $14. No, actually they went up. The price went up, by the way, guys. I don't know if you noticed that. For this wave, we have the instruction, of course. And we have a new comics, which I'm gonna read before bed. Rock. And hard and a hard place. Cool, I'm gonna read it later. That's cool. This is Faker, of course, the entire previous wave and new wave. Any oh, I don't have Stinkor. This wave, which sucks. I really like Stinkor, one of the um, underrated figures. This one, actually, um, the next one I'm gonna open is Beastman, Lord of Power. <clears throat> Amazing artwork. I'm keeping this blister just for the artwork, to be honest with you. I might end up cutting it and keeping just a piece of um, cardboard. Um, some people don't like him. 
I think it's really cool. I think Saxon doesn't come with any weapons. Um, the only other thing you gotta do, which I'm not gonna be able to do right away, is dress him up because it's gonna take too much time. But I'm gonna show the accessory and maybe do a little video at the end. Show you how it looks like. Is that okay with you guys? Sorry, I don't wanna make a video too long. So, I'm gonna pull the figure first. Inside the plastic. Sorry. Recycling is important. Recycle all your plastic and cardboard, boys and girls. It's stuck everywhere. As always, when you try to film in, does everything always happen? It's crazy. Okay. I don't know, people are gonna hate me because the video is too long. I don't care. I'm gonna unbox them anyway. I'm doing the video just because some people ask me to, so I don't, I don't honestly don't care about it. Anyhow, this is the chest plate, I'm gonna call it the armor. I'm gonna pretend to put it on him, otherwise it's gonna take too long. Sorry about that. I think it's this way. He looks cool. I mean, people they don't like him. I like this face a lot. It looks like a beast for real, yo. Anyhow, like I said, I'm not gonna put it on definitively. Definitively. Cool face, cool paint job. I love it. Cool armor. Badass figure. I, I, I really like it, actually. I think it's cool, like beastie 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 mode, for real, cool, that was uh, Beastman Lord of Power. Next, the other thing sucks, to be honest, that maybe it's because it doesn't come with another, <clears throat> with some kind of weapon, maybe an axe or something would be cool. <clears throat> then we got the Green Goddess, Goddess, sorry, which I believe uh, um, is the one actually give the, the magic sword to Eman, or Savage Eman, whatever you want to call it, and separate the... the sword in two pieces, one is going to win and one skeleton. Again, I'm not an expert in on the story. It reminds, of course, the original Tila, if you guys are a vintage collector. But it comes in a green color. Very excited about this figure. Always like it. And I think it's a uh, desire and deserve, sorry, a spot in the in the history of Master Universe. Because it's if you're a collector or you follow the story from a long time, you know it's she's kind of important in the story of Eternia and so forth. Like I said, sorry again for the noise and the plastic. See if we can take them out without. Man, she looks good. She looks good. I like I like Vintage Tila way better than, than the modern one. But again, it's my opinion. People might be haters gonna hate no matter what, you know. All right, so I'm gonna clean the stuff very well with tape. And it's gonna be fun tomorrow clean the bench or the table. Plastic everywhere. She come with two weapons. Well, one is a staff per se. A staff and a shield, like the original, the OG one. Which I had too, funny fact, many time opening it. They bought me two of them. I have two Tila back in time. I, too bad then they were in my grandma's house in Italy and they got thrown away. It's one of the few figures actually I had because my uh, my aunt, my grandma never threw away my old toys. My father, you know, took the garage, my father, my she used to keep a bunch of them. Because you know, all people tend to appreciate the value of the stuff and you know they know how much they cost and plus cousin could play with them i had some big gym i had some master universe but she was the only one i got left sadly anyhow here's the green golden green godly, goddess sorry she looks really cool good job like i said repaint nothing and less but with them um, they had some extra you know, the vintage of figures i love the, the chest plate she had she looks really really cool really cool figure i like this wave of uh Lord of Power and, and uh, Vintage stuff, and I think we, we need them back in time. Um, pretty sure they did a classic, don't quote me on that, but they are cute figures, I really like them. Now, the most suspected one, we have 50 minutes already, sorry, I tried to be faster. We have Mosquito. Man, I love this figure, and I know Pixel Dan is a, is a big fan too. Uh, on the back, of course, we got more room, so they're gonna show you the Castle Grayskull Wind Raider, Bazaar for Ordak, Mosquito. Battle Armory Man and Battle Armor Skeletor, I believe. Yep. And uh, look at the drawing, man. It's amazing. It comes with the, eh, like every um, cool figure. As a retro, retro look, the old sticker, which I'm going to try to save actually. And uh, chest pump feature. Um, he has an extra head, an extra hand, and uh, like a um, blood expect, if you will. And oh man, this one is tight. And, um, and an extra head, which is kind of cool actually. So, 
I'm gonna probably show you all that stuff. Okay. Like I said, packaging really cool. It's figured like with the really like the drawing on the side too. That's cool. I wish I can have two of each, but like I said, it's a little bit too much. Unless you guys want to pattern on the channel. <laughs> the comic is different. We have the um, or the the Ord plague. I think is only for him. Don't quote you on that. I. I'm assuming, I don't remember if uh, what kind of comic as Orda was or exactly. Uh, anyway, we're gonna read that one before bed too. <clears throat> I'm gonna take them all the package. Man, exciting. That was in a figure I was waiting for. And like I said, in one of my I never had him. I only had one in the collection. But it really looks cool. Let's see if the, yeah, the beak is a little bent. The body is exactly like the vintage one. He has his own gun over here. Blue gun, purple gun, you can see him, vintage head, and I think you can pump it, can I see it, can you see it, see it oh yeah, look at that, see the blood, it's a little bit, the blood is pumping, that's cool, man. that's cool, one of my preferred figures, unfortunately like for battle armor in my skeleton, they make a window really small, kind of sucky, but other than that, it looks exactly like the vintage one. Now we come with um, with the extra hand, fist hand for all the something else. The head they come with the extra head is like a gator style, like with the what do you call it scales? I think they're called. You see that the little thing? See yep, there you go. See the little um, scales on it? The eyes is different. Like a, really cool. I like it. I'm gonna keep probably the vintage one. Wow, they come with this attachment. I thought it was like uglier when it, um, I saw in the package. It just kind of looks cool in person. What you do with that, you put it on uh, the beak. So it looks like it's attacking the figure. So if I put, I don't know, the green godness for her. Sorry, ma'am. You can grab on her like with this. With this uh, tentacle. No, sorry, with this. What do you call it? With a liquid. It looks like it's sucking up the blood. I like the effect that I might put it like that with a figure and the beak is like sticking out too a lot that's cool cool figure oh boys and girls that was an unboxing of uh, Master Universe Origins from the back toy store I hope you like it I hope the video wasn't too long I do apologize as always thank you for watching God bless you and God bless America I'll see you soon bye bye